your pan fully so that way the parchment paper sticks onto it. Now that the pan is fully buttered, stick down the parchment paper and make sure to smooth it out in every single edge. Make sure there's no like air bubbles or bumps. Uh, try to make it as smooth and flat as possible. The parchment paper helps uh, the brownie not stick to the pan because we all know that almost everything that is baked sticks to the pan. So that prevents that from happening and that way your brownie does not crackle into a million different little pieces. Now just cut off the extra edges. I advise you to do so afterwards because that way you like use what you're going to use and then that way you just cut away the rest and if it's a lot well then you could save it. So you are going to need a premium baking bar, bittersweet cacao chocolate bar, and you could find those bars specifically in the baking section. They are not like regular chocolate bars. They are different and you can taste the difference before actually baking it like if you try a little chunk. And you are going to cut up the bar as I am doing. It is very hard so be careful while cutting. Mix in half a cup of butter with all the chocolate together. <music> Heat it in the microwave for 20 seconds and then stir the mixture. It didn't melt fully for the first 20 seconds so I had to do another 20 seconds afterwards. So just save your time and put 30 seconds in the microwave instead of having to do it twice like I did. We're going to need one cup of granulated aka white sugar. The struggle is real. Now we'll half cup of the brown sugar and see me struggle again trying to get to the sugar. You are going to need three eggs and watch how one explodes on me. Okay, so you are going to put the tiniest little pinches, the teeniest, tiniest bit of salt. Put a little bit of salt, like extra little bit, but like put in salt a little, little, little bit. Like a little fruit, and that's it. And then you are going to need a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I am removing some because the one that I have is homemade. It's like, it, it wasn't made in the factory. It was made by somebody, like handmade. So it is very strong, the one that I have. And my aunt was reminding me, like, yo, hold up, girl. Like, chill. That one's very strong. Don't put too much. So I had to remove half of it. But you, if you buy it, like, off of Walmart, like, you know, like, those are, like, made off of a company. So it's not going to taste, like, as strong as mine. So put in the whole tablespoon. Okay, okay. Now add in the buttery chocolate to the mixture. Half a cup of multi-purpose flour. Uh -huh. I tried opening the container with my nails since they're long and big. I thought it would like puncture a hole and it just exploded. <laughs> and one fourth cup of baking cacao. After mixing all the ingredients together, put them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes or 180 degrees Celsius.